All right, I just wanted to get on right quick. I'm on my way to the house. And I wanna talk about learning from people that are where you already wanna be. So one of the things that I found is success always leave clues. And if you begin to pay attention to successful people, other people that you feel like have what you wanna have or do what you wanna do, you'll notice that there's a commonality. So like for instance, if you read an article um, that's an entrepreneur, they say the highly successful people that, what are their morning routines? They get up, they exercise, they meditate, they do all the things that that you feel like is simple, but yet they're very successful. Why? Because they're conditioning their mind and their body. That's the difference. You know, those little things that you do is going to allow you to be successful. The little things that, that you notice that the heroes and the sheroes that you look up to, you'll notice like if you continue to follow them, you'll be like, okay, that person said the same thing or that person doing the same thing. Why? Because successful people do the same thing and success leave clues. So what if you feel like the people that you hanging around are not where you want to go? Mm. So what do you do? You go and find somebody that is doing what you want to do. I don't care whether it's a book, whether that's looking on YouTube, whether that is just you finding Google entrepreneurs, um, reading Forbes, whatever it is to reach the people that you want to be. Not, not necessarily be them because you don't want to copy nobody. You want to be yourself. But you take those little pieces from the people that have the characteristics like you want. Like for instance, the work ethic of Beyonce. Y'all already know her work ethic is phenomenal. Let's say the givingness and the, the insightfulness of Oprah. Or how about the, um, the psychological aspect of Tony Robbins. See, when you begin to point out those people and you begin to see what it is that they specialize in and you begin to point out, hey, this is, this is what they're doing and you begin to put that in your life, now you're creating a successful life for yourself. And so by learning from the people of where you wanna be, it's gonna allow you to reach where you wanna be. But that's also that also means you're gonna have to stretch yourself as well. And so whenever you begin to learn from the people, you're gonna see like, oh wow, they, they really doing some stuff that I, I'm, I'm not really up to. Hmm. So if you're not really up to it, then, then you're not ready to be successful. You're not ready for that next level because these people, they leave in the clues. All you gotta do is just be aware of what they're leaving behind and pick it up. Because one of the things, that's what I began to notice when I, when I began to hang around these women that make six, seven figures a year online and, and in their businesses, I began to notice the same things. They're supportive. They are confident in themselves. They're confident in their message. They have they have that leadership quality. They have all the things that allow them to reach that position. So what do I need to do? I need to emulate what I see and not necessarily copy it, but like I said, make it to what I am. And, and that is what I have always learned and what has allowed me to progress. So when you begin to learn from people, and you say, well, Tashana or Coco, y'all know me by Coco, but call me Tashana. Um, <laughs> if you begin to notice like, hey, um, I don't have nobody in my area that I can look up to or can be a mentor, go on YouTube. It's a lot of people on YouTube. It's a lot of people that are on social media. And I'm not saying that go after the accounts that, you, that have all these followings and all these things. That's not every. That's not everybody's um, real forte. Some of them people be faking. I'm sorry, y'all. They be faking like crazy on social media. And you be thinking they living this good life. And you find out, dang, you ain't, you ain't what I thought you was. I've had that before. People that I thought was top notch. I'm like, yes, yes. And then when I get to it, it's like, Okay, I'm learning. You learning more stuff from me than I am from you. What in the world? What what am I going to do with this? And so, I found out those relationships was built on a false foundation. 
And so that's another thing. You don't want to build your success or your finances on a false foundation. Look for those people that are genuine in their approach, that give that information away for free, that is willing to help you. And I'm not saying like free is the best because sometimes you do need to pay to get the information as well, but you also want to have it to where you can search these things online. You know, it's for free. And then once you get a certain plateau, then you begin to invest in yourself if you can. But if you have the money to go ahead and invest in yourself, invest in yourself, invest in a coach. Because when you take the time to invest in yourself and to grow yourself, I promise y'all, y'all gonna see it elsewhere. And so I just wanted to give on, get on and give y'all encouragement, like go out and learn from those type of people that you want not to, like I said, to be like, but to strive for. It's nothing wrong with that, you know? Like I just gave y'all, Beyonce, her work ethic, just watch how she do certain things. Look at it from a business aspect, not just as a person like, yes, boo, you slay. No, she's slaying everything. That's 